by Kaiju fans. Got some news for Godzilla today, not directly associated with any film in particular, but just some news about Toho Studios and future Godzilla films in general. So, what basically what the situation is is that Toho is co-financing with foreign studios for films, and this is this is including Godzilla. Uh, so it says. In a move that sees Toho expanding their power overseas, the studio behind Godzilla will co-finance content on their property with Hollywood in China. Starting in 2019, Toho will implement a three-year plan to bankroll $135 million into foreign studios producing their properties. These assets include a live-action remake of Your Name, Pokemon, and of course, Godzilla. So, moving on, it says that this direct quote says that Toho has had limited involvement in overseas movie production before, notably Hollywood versions of its well-known monster movie. As a co-producer, it will invest up to 25% of the production costs in each project, entitling it to a bigger share of revenue for successful content than just collecting royalties. Toho will also manage the rights of creators and ensure that their ideas are reflected in the works. The studio also plans to act as a broker between other Japanese studios and overseas counterparts in the future. Seeing as the plan does not go into effect until 2019, it seems unlikely that this plan includes the upcoming Godzilla King of Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong, considering one's in 2019 and one's in 2020, that's too early for them to, you know, get their finances in to co-produce the movie because they'll basically be done or almost done at that point, so it doesn't really include those. So what does this mean for Godzilla franchise after 2020? Will the MonsterVerse continue to thrive with Toho co-funding Legendary's productions and having greater creative control over their projects? Will they continue to produce Godzilla movies on their own, like Shin Godzilla? It's too early to say officially, so the speculation may begin. So yeah, the speculation. This could mean that the MonsterVerse with Godzilla continues after 2020 with, co with Toho basically investing 25% of the production costs for more films for Godzilla being produced by Hollywood, they might not be directly associated with the MonsterVerse. They could be independent films in general, like a, a, a unique one-off storyline like how Shin Godzilla was a completely new idea. There might be more of those in the future. Um, this is with the United States and China. I don't think that China is going to be making any Godzilla films anytime soon. Probably a good thing, so we don't really have to worry about that, but hey, this, this could basically mean that more Godzilla films are coming from from Hollywood, from the United States, after 2020, considering its goal is Pokemon, Your Next, and future Godzilla films starting in 2019, and the two movies that are already in production are, they're going to be way past this point of Toho ever being able to do anything in that. So we could say that more films are on the way that's one thing that we could say and then secondly with them having more control over the film in general with co-funding it that basically ensures that we're not going to have ever have anything like the 98 film again because Toho is going to be there during the production stage either green lighting or denying things completely so everything will have to be you know in accordance with Toho's wishes for the film, with the franchise, with the monster in general. So, this is really good news for future United States produced Godzilla films because they will still hold true to the ideals that Toho deems necessary for Godzilla films. So, that's awesome. I am totally on board with that. Like, that's nothing that could possibly go wrong with that. That's incredible stuff right there. So, this could be more Godzilla films after 2020, so we already have four new ones coming out in the next few years with the next two animated films and then the next two MonsterVerse films. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome stuff, I'm not going to lie. Um, that's really going to be it for this video, just kind of a rundown of the information and, uh, you know, something to fill the gap for a few more days before um, Monster Planet comes to Netflix. Over here, I'm actually rewatching uh, Knights of Sidonia, just to get me get me in the mood for Polygon animated Netflix films. So yeah, or not even films. That's the that's a whole fr that's two seasons worth of anime right there. So let me know what you guys think about this information, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.
Thank you for making it to the end of the video, I appreciate it a lot. As always, liking, commenting, and sharing really helps on my channel. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay up to date on the latest kaiju news and crisp reviews.